Hello YouTube and Mr. Forks. Um, Photoshop elements here. Uh, first tutorial. Uh, tutorial. I'm really struggling to say that word right now. First Photoshop elements tutorial that I've done. Um, I've got the trial. I've only got it for 26 days, so I wanted to pump as many out as I can in 26 days. Um, and just kind of introduce you to the uh, world of Photoshop. For those that aren't, well, aren't, not necessarily brave enough, but aren't, just just don't have the money or just don't want to plunge into Photoshop. So you've got Photoshop Elements. Now you can lay it out, if you're on Mac, how Photoshop lays out by default. If you go onto Window, um, tick where it says Application Frame, then you can see it looks like how it does on the Mac, normal Photoshop, but you actually want the Application Frame, it's very good. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, in this tutorial, I would go over the interface, but I learned by doing, and I've done a few interface videos, and people like them, yes, um, but I'm going to cover the interface in this tutorial whilst we learn something, so even better. We're going to go to Finder and find a picture to edit. That one looks good. And just drag that onto our Photoshop Elements icon, and it will load up in Photoshop like that, we've got it as a free window, but what you want to do is drag it up so that it turns blue and transparent. Can you see the blue edge up here, just above where my cursor is? And the picture's also got transparent and let go, and that will dock the picture, which is what we want. Um, now, over here we've got our layers, and Photoshop is a layer-based editing application, which means that you really want to do every single thing you you do, you want to be on a different layer. That way you have the most control and if you don't like something you can just turn that layer off. Um, so first thing we want to do, over in our layers, double click layers and hit the enter button. And what that means is that originally it was a locked background layer. Now that means it's a layer that we can't move, we can't play around with really. And it's very restricted because we're just messing with a JPEG. Um, now by adding, by double clicking it and making it its own independent layer, we can do whatever we want. Um, so you always want to do that when you bring in a picture. So first thing we're going to cover in this tutorial is um, blemishes. Now, as pretty as my wonderful girlfriend is, she does have some some flaws. You know, um, we've got a few spots here. Um, so we're going to get rid of them, and we do that with a tool called the clone tool and basically what that does it clones one area and replaces it with a with another area and puts it over the top of another area there's a few ways of doing this first of all we're going to grab the uh, clone stamp tool which shortcut key is s and you hold down the alt button and you can sample an area so i want this spot to look like this bit of skin here so i'm going to sample this area alt click there and then just click over there and as you can see the blemish is already gone um, because it basically pasted um, this bit of skin over this area. We want to do that with a few places. Remember to update your sample area every now and then. And also you'll notice that this brush is a bit um, big. So to reduce the size we got the open and close bracket keys next to your enter button. Use them. Alt click. Um, if your brush is hard, you don't want it to be hard. Um, Photoshop Elements doesn't really give you a hardness option, but what you do up here in the brushes, um, choose a soft brush, which is this one. Choose this 100 brush. Close that little dialog box, and then you've, it's now soft. Reduce it in size, though. And then just go around and make her far better looking. If you can't um, find, if you want to just play around then go on to um, Flickr and just find someone's picture. Um, find someone's picture of like their partner and say I don't think they're very good looking here look what I've done to them. Send them the edited picture that you've done after following my tutorial and uh, they'll be best pleased. I'm joking. Um, to zoom in, sorry, um, is command plus or command equals technically command equals and then command minus to zoom out um, if you saw me moving around I'm holding down the space bar and um, dragging
only a few more blemishes. I'm not going to do, you know, what spend ages doing this because you won't learn anything. But you want to basically go through. She got anything on her arm? <sighs> yeah, she does. That was a bit like there we go. If we zoom out now, as you can see, she's now much better looking. However, she her skin is a bit just uh, just iffy. So to smoothen the skin, what you want to do? Select a layer, go over to the layer panel, right click and duplicate layer. Before you start working on any photo, really you want to duplicate it so that you've always got your unedited version. Um, but grab the top layer anyway. And we're going to go filter, blur, surface blur. Basically, it won't mess with the details, but it will blur the surface. So, play around with these settings. You uh, don't want the threshold very high. And then just try and get the right balance. But you don't want it to look over fake. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to press OK. Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. And Photoshop is now just calculating this uh, surface blur. Brilliant. And as you can see, unfortunately, what it's done, it looks good on the skin, but it's taken the detail out of the eyes, out of the hair. We don't want that, so we zoom out, Command minus, um, Control minus if you're on the PC. Hit the E key for the eraser tool. Make sure we've got a soft brush. So go up to here, choose this 100 thing. You can. Uh, you can see that it's softer, it's got a bit of fall off as opposed to um, this is hard, this is soft. Select that and then press the X. Okay, brilliant. So now we've got a soft brush. We're going to go to the eyes, Command plus to zoom in, Control plus. If you're on the PC, and remember spacebar and drag. Move around, how long have we got? Okay, so we've now given some detail back to the eyes basically what we're doing we're erasing our blurred layer and then showing the detailed layer because remember we duplicated our layer so this is the original and then we've got um, we put our blurred layer over the top um, if you come over here you can see that you got these two layers that we created, remember when I duplicated it? See this eye, that shows whether it's visible or not. You'll be able to see here. Um, if I turn that off, you know, that gets rid of the blur layer. But we want it on. We're, we're just erasing places that we want detail. So put some detail back in the lips. And the other main thing is the hair because hair just doesn't look real well. Some details, so let's go through. I'm just going to do it roughly for now. You guys can spend your whole life doing it. What do I care? But don't spend your whole life working on one picture. Just do lots of pictures. You'll have much more fun. Um. You don't actually uh, want it in the background either. It will look too uh, fake. These eyebrows are looking pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to have a bit of detail, but not too much. So the opacity is how um, strong our eraser is. If we bring that to about 50. Just erase over the eyebrows. It's giving it a bit of detail, but still keeping some of the smoothness, which is what we want on the rig, really. The pearls. Any sort of clothing you want the detail back in. Let's put the opacity back up. Put the detail back in the clothing. We don't want the image to look fake. We just want her skin to look unrealistically good without going OTT and then for the background we can do it really quickly we just get a big brush like that 
very roughly, very quickly erase out the background. We solo this layer, you can see that all this layer is, is uh, that. And it's quite smooth. If we just uh, put the layer underneath it back in, it's like a it's like a mask we're putting on us, so that's what she looks like normally. Boom, smooth skin. Um, that's all we're going to cover in this tutorial. Make sure you watch uh, part two. We're going to take her to the next level. Uh, we're actually going to work on the eyes. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.